सो गाइस यस्टरडे आई स्विच्ड इट टू अ न्यू रोम व्हिच इज कोमोडो एज एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन एंड्राइड 12 एंड बिफोर दिस आई वाज यूजिंग पिक्सेल प्लस यूआई व्हिच वाज बेस्ड ऑन एंड्राइड 11 सो एज आई स्विच्ड टू दिस रोम आई फाउंड वन प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम वाज दैट दिस रोम वाज टेकिंग अ लॉट स्पेस ऑफ माय रैम एज सिस्टम let me show you so as you can see here we need to go to running services and develop option so here you can see that uh, the system is taking about 1.3 gb of ram which is a lot for a 2 gb of ram device so um, the pixel plus ui which was which i was using earlier it was only using 800 mb of my ram as system and this one is using about twice of it and here you can see i am only getting 100 and something you can say that about 200 of free time which is very very less to run an android and here you can see it's a bit slow working slow and once i think to switch back to pixel plus ui but uh, i want to use android 12 so i decided to expand its ram so to uh, expand the ram of a device is uh, possible but uh, you will need root for that and uh, the rom which we are going to expand uh, will be called as virtual ram so we are going to create a virtual ram so to create a virtual RAM you will need one app and that app requires your root access so you will need to be rooted for that first if you haven't rooted yet your device so you can check out my video on how to root an android device the link will be given in description so to create a virtual RAM you will need one app named your software RAM expander so the link for this app is given in description download it from there and just install it so what this app uh, really do is it uh, takes a uh, amount of storage from your internal or uh, your external storage storage which you want to choose you can choose between them so uh, it will take uh, some space of that like let me show you so as we open this app so your internet connection should be on during opening this app at first uh, it requires internet connection after that uh, you can use it offline also so you will need to grant root permissions here after that allow so you can see our app has been opened so here you can see vmem so it's the virtual memory which we are going to create and this virtual memory is going to be used as our ram and then we are going to test our ram so how you need to create your ram is firstly you can select value from here that how much ram do you want to create like 2gb 4gb etc but i will recommend you to click on optimal values it automatically select a suitable value for your device so you need to just click on optimal values after clicking on optimal values it will show you a list of storage like your internal your external and uh, different folders so from here it's going to take your space from that storage which you are going to select and uh, it will occupy that much of space so it will be detected from your internal storage or sd card which you are going to use so just simply select it like here you can see 16.39 gb is free so when i will use this then it will be deducted so you just simply click on here and after that you need to click on gamers because for gamers this um, has high speed so just gamers and click ok so now this will convert that much of our internal storage into a swap file which will be used as ram and 
we can store our recent task there very easily so here you can see so i will recommend you internal storage to select there because internal storage has a high read write speed value uh, as compared to hd card and etc so you need to select internal if you have space there either you can select hd card so this virtual ram is a bit uh, slow from your original ram but uh, you can run this so here you can see our so file has been created and uh, here you can see our speed also it's 70 mb per second so it has created about 3000 mb of save file it means 3 gb of virtual ram has been created so here you can see 2.93 which is uh, about 3 gb so here here our ram has been created now we are going to take it in use so you can see it the step has been active so uh, enable this auto run and uh, in notification panel you can also see here that ram expander you can remove this notification by clicking on notification icon now you can see the notification has been removed so now you just simply need to run applications like let me show you but before that uh, i need to tell you one thing that uh, the swappiness here you can see which i am sliding so uh, swappiness means uh, your all apps will open in virtual memory if you have kept it on 100 and if you keep it in 50 50 on 50 like uh, around 50 so your half of the task will be open in your original ram and half will be opened on your virtual ram so it's uh, depend on you so i am going to switch it to 100 so now my virtual memory is going to be used fully so now let me show you so now i am going to open some apps quickly so as you can see i have opened settings and i am going to open in file explorer and now i am going to open my magisk and now I am going to open another file manager and now I am going to open like place to and after that I am going to open YouTube and after that I am going to open YouTube music so here you can see i have opened many apps and let us see how many of them are in background running in background so firstly we will open our ram expander so this app is a bit buggy but uh, you will need to manage with them so now as you can see the value of free memory is 2.29 so the value which has been occupied uh, is being used by the apps which we recently opened so we are going to check one each one of them here you can see setting is opened in background and uh, this root file explorer is also being opened in background so now it's time to open magic so it's also opened in background so you can see our virtual memory is working very fine file manager is also opened in background and uh, here you can see play store is also opened in background so you can see the performance made by this virtual ram you can see that all the apps are opened leaving some of them and uh, it's working very fine as you can see this is also opened in background so um, these all are opened in background and uh, here you can see that uh, our free memory is 2.24 so we can open more apps also and here you can see that RAM of original RAM which was before 400 MB it has got to 600 MB because our all tasks are handled by virtual RAM so by this method you can just easily create a virtual RAM and expand your RAM memory so that's all for today 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज़ लाइक द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड शेयर द वीडियो बाय